Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would like to give an example on discrete random variable x. Okay, see the statement of the given problem. A random variable capital X has the following probability function. Okay, see here x, the random variable x takes the values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Since these are integers, given random variable is a discrete random variable. Don't forget this one. Okay, if x takes only integers, then it is called discrete random variable. Suppose capital X takes the values in a interval form, then it is called continuous random variable. Okay, see here, what is this in the second row? Probability, p, p is nothing but probability of x values. Here, what is the probability of x is equal to 0? It is k. So, what is the probability to that x value is 1? 3k. And in similar way, what is the probability of x is equal to 6? This is nothing but probability of x value is 6 is 13k. So, x values are given here and respect to probabilities are given to you here. We have to find value of k. Sometimes an unknown value is inserted in the data at the place of probabilities. So, you have to find out k value first. After that, you have to find out the mean of the discrete random variable x and variance of the random variable x. Also, we have to find out the probability to that x value should lies between 3 and 6 and x may equal to 6. Okay. See, one by one, I will solve the all problems here. See, better to keep the calculator at our place. So, solution. X heading to find k. Okay. So, before starting the solution, you can give the names for the x values. This is x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6 and finally it is x7. Similarly, this is probability of x1. Okay. And this is probability of x2. And so on, this is probability of x7. Okay. How to find the k value in the concept of discrete random variable? We know that. The basic concept in the total probability is sum of all probabilities, otherwise total of all probabilities. All probabilities is unity, nothing but it is 1. So that is, here we have the probabilities from x1 to x7. So probability of x1, probability of x2, probability of x3 and so on, probability of x7 okay suppose you can take any random experiment and you can take any events if you find out all probable if you find out probabilities of all events surely you will get one that's why i wrote this step so what is the probability of x1 given that k plus it would be 3k it would be 5k 7k 9k 11k plus 13k is equal to 1 so, 1 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 5, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49. So, I got 49k is equal to 1. From this, k value is 1 by 49. Very easy one. To get the unknown constant in probabilities, you can add all probabilities and equate to 1. Automatically, you will get the k value. Okay. Next, mean. Mean is also known as average otherwise expectation of the random variable which is represented by u of x already you know it okay u of x is nothing but summation i is equal to 1 to n xi into probability of respect to x values so you can expand this one here n is nothing but 7 last value so you will get x1 into probability of x1 x2 plus probability of x2 and so on. It is not necessary to write all terms. x7 into last x value into respect to probability. So from this table, you can multiply x value with respect to probabilities and add, add them. So 0 into k, 1 into 3k, 2 into 5k, 3 into 7k plus 4 into 9k plus 5 into 
लेवन के प्लस सिक्स इंटू थर्टीन के ओके जीरो इंटू एनी थिंग जीरो वन इंटू थ्री थ्री के प्लस टू फाइव आर टेन के थ्री सेवन आर ट्वेंटी वन के फोर नाइन आर थर्टी सिक्स एंड फाइव लेवन आर फिफ्टी फाइव एंड सिक्स थर्टीन आर सिक्स टेन आर सिक्सटी सिक्स थ्री आर एटीन सेवेंटी एट के ओके यू कैन एड दिस ऑल थिंग्स सो थ्री प्लस टेन थर्टीन प्लस ट्वेंटी वन इट इज के इट इज थर्टी सिक्स इट इज ऑल्सो के फिफ्टी फाइव प्लस सेवेंटी एट इज इक्वल आई गॉट टू नॉट थ्री टू नॉट थ्री के वॉट इज के वैल्यू वी गॉट के वैल्यू इज फॉर्ट वन बाय फोर्टी नाइन डोंट थ्री प्लस के इज इक्वल वन फोर वन बाय फोर्टी नाइन एट द स्टार्टिंग ओके यू कैन रीप्लेस के वैल्यू एट द क्लाइमैक्स टू नॉट थ्री बाय फोर्टी नाइन दिस इज द एक्सपेक्टेशन यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट इन डिसमल प्लेस सो इट वुड बी सो आई गॉट फोर पॉइंट वन फोर टू डेसमल प्लेसेस आर इन ओके नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वेरियंस सी For variance, what is the formula? Variance of x is equal to e of x square minus e of x whole square. This is the formula for the variance. So, what is e of x square? Summation i is equal to one to n x i square into probability of x i. Minus, we got e of x as four point one four, four point one four whole square. So, what is summation of uh, i is equal to one to one, one to n x i square probability of x i? You can expand the series. X one square here n is seven last x value. Probability of x one plus x two square probability of x two plus one x seven square. So probability of x seven minus four point one four whole square. See here. I will write the continuous here. From previous step, we got variance of x is equal to x one square into probability of x one. So, uh, so you will get zero square into k. It would be zero. First term is zero. One square into three k. It is three k. Directly I am writing the step and. Uh, x x three square it is nothing but two square two square is four four five is twenty k and three square three square means nine nine seven is sixty three k okay and uh, four square four square means sixteen and uh, sixteen times of nine I got one forty four k next five square Five square means twenty-five, so twenty-five into eleven. It would be two seventy-five. Okay, and last one is six square. It is thirty-six. Thirty-six into respect to probability, thirteen plus four sixty-six. Okay, don't forget the k value, and minus e of x whole square. We got e of x as four point one four. See the previous step once, okay? Four point one four. See here, we got e of x as four point one four. Okay, we have to calculate this. So three plus twenty, three plus twenty is twenty three, plus sixty three, plus one forty four, plus two seventy five. Plus four sixty six is equal. To, I got nine seventy one, nine seventy one k minus four point one four. Okay. Now by using calculator, k is nothing but one by forty nine minus four point one four whole square. So you can take this number nine seventy one division. Forty nine 
minus 4.14 square is equal to I got 2.6767 it's enough okay this is the variance of the given discrete random variable now we have to find out the another one which is probability of 3 is less than x is less than or equal to 6 3 is less than x is less than or equal to 6 so look at the given data once here x takes the values from 0 to 6 so there is a chance to that x value lies between 3 and 6 and uh, x may be equal to 6 so see, clearly we are observing that x value should be greater than 3 so it may be 4 it may be 5 it may be 6 also suppose strictly less than is given to you you have to take that x value is 4 otherwise x value is 5 so the required probability is x value may be 4 or probability of x values may be 5 or whenever we have r we can write addition probability of x is equal to 6 you can add this all three probabilities so what is the probability to that x value is 4 it would be 9k what is the probability that x value is 5 it is 11k it is 13k and k value is 1 by 49 don't forget it so 9 plus 11 20 20 plus 13 33k so 33 by 49 see here 33 is division 49 I got 0 0.6734 and don't forget one important point probability of any event should lies between 0 and 1 in this way we can crack the problem in the next video i will give some more examples on random variables thank you very much